Hi everyone, alright, so I just wanted to make a quick video talking about Twinkle Twinkle Lucky Stars. It's from 1985 and it's the third uh, film in the Lucky Stars series. So obviously this was films that were all directed by Sam o Hung and it's with him starring in the lead role. Uh, you have Jackie Chan and Yuen Biao in here as well in supporting capacities. So you had the first film in 1983 which was Winners and Sinners and then in 1985 you had a double bill of My Lucky Stars and then Twinkle Twinkle Lucky Stars which is the third film. And the film that I want to spotlight because I have enjoyed all three of these films, but Twinkle Twinkle Lucky Stars is definitely the favourite for me. Um, so what these films are, they are action comedies, as, as you would expect from Sam or, um, Basically, he's the lead role. You know, the focus is on his character, but him and his group of friends who are collectively known as the Lucky Stars... They are all ex-cons and they get out of prison and they want to make an effort to turn their life around and go straight. But during the course of this, they become involved in a number of, uh, a number of police cases. They basically end up assisting the police uh, through various shenanigans in a number of uh, instances throughout the film so like in the first film they get involved with like a counterfeit case in the second film they actually go over to japan to help uh, track down a, a rogue cop and then in this third film they get involved in a witness protection case so obviously you have uh samo and his friends the lucky stars and then Jackie and Yuen Biao are cops um, and again they have their presence throughout the series it's interesting because they are supporting characters like in the first film Jackie's in it for maybe 10-15 minutes and Yuen Biao's in like one scene whereas they have more screen time in Lucky Stars and obviously more screen time here in Twinkle Twinkle Lucky Stars. So basically, you have Samo and the Lucky Stars with this girl who's in the Witness Protection Programme and then the case that Jackie and uh, you and Biao are involved in, it just, in, it just happens to cross over and intersect with what's going on with Samo. Basically, the... the um, the three guys that are hunting down this girl that's in the witness protection program, one of which is Richard Norton, um, they base they basically uh, uh, they're involved or basically they happen to take out a guy that's under the protection of the police as well, you know, under the care or under the watchful eye of Jackie and and uh, Yuen Biao. So basically, they're after the same guys who are after the girl who's in the witness protection program. So it's, it's convoluted, you know, but you've got like crossing and intersecting strands. But again, these films are just so much fun. You know, the plot is often nonsensical. It, it, well, it's a recurring thing in a lot of these Jackie Chan, Sam O Hung, Yuen Biao movies, nonsensical plots, but they are just so entertaining and so much fun that you're just happy to go along with them. And again, there's, uh, I've talked about this before, but there's something about the 80s Hong Kong setting that's so, so cool. It, it's just such a joy. Um, but again, there's, you know, there's an interesting comedy in this, or fun comedy in this, you know, it doesn't always land, but there's some stuff that's really fun. I always like Samo as a director as well. I mean, I know Jackie's directed his fair share of stuff, but I've always, I've always thought that Samo is the stronger director and certainly in terms of the action in this as well, the action's great uh, and Samo as well, you know, He's a great choreographer. He's got a great eye for the choreography. Um, and, it, you know, it helps that you've got Jackie and Yuen Biao there who are just able, you know, they've got such a great, uh, that you know, mind for it as well. And they're just, 
they're they're just they're, they're just irreplaceable. You know, they are unique. They're so unique. Obviously, Yuen Biao is just such a phenomenal acrobat and a gymnast. In addition to being a great martial artist, and Jackie's just such a brilliant. I don't know whether you want to say he's he really is the all rounder of the group. He really is. Um, but they work so well together and again Jackie and Yuen Biao they're basically in about half an hour of this movie and they just really just the sprinkled throughout and they just really just elevate it whenever they come in to the movie um, but the finale of this uh, takes place in this like arts centre basically the um, the girl that's in the in the witness protection program and is hanging out with the lucky stars. She's like a, a she's basically involved in like a theatre group, which obviously um, is held at this uh, art centre. So she goes there on the uh, one afternoon, and the lucky stars accompany her. And again, shenanigans ensue. Like they partake in various activities that are going on that day. Like Samo and uh, I think it's Richard Ng. They go to a, a judo class, and Michelle Michelle Yeoh's in this movie. She just happens to be the judo instructor. Like this is one of her first films, so she has this really really fun scene with Richard Ng and Sammo Hung. Her and Sammo Hung have a really cool little exchange, but it was so fun to see Michelle Yeoh here as well. But yeah. The finale of the film, the uh, the final action set piece, takes place in like the bar area of this art centre. Uh, basically the uh, the hitmen shop and uh Samo is there and Jackie Chan and UNBL show up. So you have this action set piece. Obviously you have the three of them against the three hitmen and they just they run rough shot over this bar. The whole area just gets destroyed. Um it and just the it it's great because you have this really great fight sequence that Sam O Hung and Richard Norton have, and then obviously you and Biao is doing his thing, Jackie's doing his thing, and it's just so much fun to watch. Again, the action in these is you know even though at times it's more focused on the comedic side, when the action starts, the action's great. Uh, and then just it's just so much fun and then just the whole wrap up of this you know when they've got the whole thing wrapped up they've got the taking the guys into custody and they're going to escort them out and then the elevator opens up because apparently everyone who's in this building suddenly decided it's lunch time apparently so they're coming into this bar area just the lift doors open and just Everyone just descends and then they just witness all of this, the aftermath of this just chaos that's taken place. The whole place is destroyed and you've just got these guys, just everyone coming out this lift, just gobsmacked by what they see and it's it's really fun obviously michelle yo shows back up she's one of the people who comes out the elevator she's still got the gi on and everything she looks great but one face i noticed in the crowd this is bizarre moon lee uh who is uh who's from uh, mr vampire and worked with the unbo on zoo warriors from the magic mountain and was also in winners and sinners as unbo's girlfriend she just is one of the people in the crowd. So I guess they made a phone call and she had a free afternoon and they called in a favour. Can you come down to the set? She just, she does she gets no close-up. She gets no dialogue. She just wanders out the lift. It's just one of the many faces in the crowd. It's great. Um, but I really, I really do like Twinkle Twinkle Lucky Stars. Again, just really a really fun, feel good movie. It's very light, very breezy. All of these three films are, and Samo's great. I just, I do, I really do love Samo Hung, and it's just great to see Jackie and Ewan Biao in there doing their thing as well. And a re obviously we talked about Michelle Yeoh, a really cool early role for her. You get a really young Andy Lau in this as well, who's one of the cops working with Jackie and Yuen Biao. So it was cool to see him uh, in this. 
Um, but really, really enjoyed this one. Definitely my favourite of the, of the three Lucky Stars movies. Uh, but again, if you're a fan, please feel free to share your thoughts. And again, if you've if you've not picked this up and you're a fan of the Lucky Stars films, obviously it's a really beautiful presentation we get here from Eureka. All three films look and sound great. Um, yeah, so it's a really nice little set. But uh, that pretty much wraps this up. I just wanted to talk a little bit, a bit about these, uh, obviously specifically spotlighting uh, Twinkle Twinkle Lucky Stars. Because they're just fun, feel-good movies, you know. Obviously, with an emphasis on the comedic uh, aspect, but there's some really great action set pieces in all three films. So, again, if you haven't heard of it, hey, look it up. You might enjoy it. And obviously, if you are a fan... It'd be interesting to hear if you've picked this collection up and I'd love to hear your thoughts. But thank you for indulging me and uh, thank you for your time. I really do appreciate it and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you everybody. Bye bye. <laughs>